Have you guys ever lost a tooth before? Or teeth? This book is about the Tooth Fairy. It is called The Tooth Fairy Wars and it's written by Katie Coombs and illustrated by Jake Parker. So big thank you to Kate and Jake. And our mystery surprise guest is a little unicorn and on her belly, if you can see, it says Tooth Fairy and it has a pocket. So I'm going to show you what's inside that pocket after our book. Are you guys ready? Let's get started. The Tooth Fairy Wars. Okay, here we go. When Nathan lost his first tooth, his mother told him to put it under his pillow. The tooth fairy will come get it and she'll leave you a dollar. See his tooth? I don't want to, said Nathan. It's my tooth and I'm going to keep it forever. Hmm, his mom said. I guess that's okay. So Nathan put it, the tooth in a plastic bag and then into his sock drawer. See the tooth fairy? The tooth fairy found it anyway. She was very good at her job. The tooth fairy took Nathan's tooth out of the baggie, opened her briefcase, and tucked it inside. She left a dollar behind for Nathan. Uh-oh, he doesn't look very happy, does he? He's eating happy o cereal, but he looks mad. In the morning, Nathan was not happy. It was my tooth, he said. I'm sorry, honey, said his mom. I guess you'll have to hide the next one better. The next one, Nathan asked, worried. Oh, look what she did. He did. Sure enough, a month later, another tooth fell out. When Nathan bit into a peanut butter sandwich, he hid the tooth inside a fort guarded by army men. That is an awesome fort. The tooth fairy wasn't afraid. In no time flat, she had traded Nathan's tooth for a dollar. When Nathan found the dollar, oh no, sorry. When Nathan found the tooth gone, he growled like a bulldog. He made a better plan when the third tooth fell out. Okay, I wonder what the next plan is. That night, after a quick search of Nathan's bedroom, the tooth fairy took out her super tooth sensomatic and scanned the house. Oh my goodness, look at that. She scanned the house looking for his tooth. She's got all the tools she needs. She found Nathan's hiding place in the garage behind some oil cans. Huh, she said to herself as she hurried away to her next stop. Nathan showed the dollar to his mother. Again, she sighed. Why don't you try asking her nicely? So when Nathan lost his fourth tooth, he wrote the Tooth Fairy a letter. Dear Tooth Fairy, I know most kids like to trade you their teeth for dollars, but not me. I want to save my tooth forever. Your friend, Nathan. Oh, there she is reading the letter. While Nathan slept, the Tooth Fairy came. She read his letter carefully. Then she took the tooth anyway. She left behind a dollar along with the form letter from her briefcase. Oh, it's a very official letter. It says, Dear Human Child, According to the regulation 8439H, paragraph 7, should the relinquisher object to said transaction, he or she shall be referred to the Office 11 of Pay Division of Rates and Exchanges, 15th League of Enchanted Commerce. It's a very legal letter. There, he or she may fill out the Form R8 titled Petition to Retain Baby Tooth, listing his or her reasons for requesting an exception to policy, after which an injunction bearing shall be held within 25,990 years to decide the case. Sincerely, T. Ferry. 25,990 years, Nathan squawked? Oh, that's a long time to wait to find out if he can keep his tooth. Nathan hid his next tooth inside a carton full of eggs. The tooth fairy found it. Nathan buried a tooth under marigolds in the garden. She got that one too. She never misses a tooth. Look at her. She's good at her job. He left another tooth at his best friend Danny's house and put out a cat tooth he'd found instead. <gasps> he tried to trick her with a cat tooth. The tooth fairy lost her temper that night. It took her a long time, but she tracked down Nathan's tooth. <laughs> I love this book. Nathan tried bribing her. That didn't work. 
Look, she, he gave him he gave her a gift. It says to the tooth fairy, and she wrote back, "Dear human child, it is strictly against regulations to attempt to bribe an officer of the Fifteenth League of Enchanted Commerce. Please seize and desist at once, gravely, Tea Fairy." Nope, Nathan said. And I said, "Now what's he gonna do?" The next time Nathan lost a tooth, he borrowed his cousin's tarantula. <gasps> Yikes! He painted the tooth gray and hid it in the rocks at the bottom of the tarantula tank. Nathan smeared the top of the tank with honey, and then he sprinkled itching powder over the honey and put up some signs. Oh my goodness, he really wants his tooth. Take good care of my tooth, Fred, Nathan told the tarantula as he turned out the light. And then look, he put up all these signs. It says, like, angry spider lives here. Do not enter. Danger, beware. <laughs> Do you think she was scared? Let's look. When the tooth fairy came, she read the sign. She took one look at Fred and she turned pale. She sniffed the powdery goo. Oh my, she whispered. The tooth fairy did not take Nathan's tooth. She did not leave a dollar. She left a handwritten note instead. All right, you ready to read it? It says, young man, that is not nice. I am taking a vacation as of tomorrow. The 15th League of Enchanted Commerce will no doubt be sending a substitute entity. It is my forever and hope that this, is, that this individual will be treated with the proper respect when he or she visits your household. Grimly, Tea Fairy. Nathan showed the letter to Danny. I won, he yelled. What about the substitute, Danny asked. Oh, I'll have to get ready, said Nathan. Uh-oh. The 15th League of Enchanted Commerce got ready, too. They sent a whole team of tooth experts to Nathan's house. Ah! Poor tooth experts. They tried their best, but it didn't go so well. Oh, no. He set up traps, and he got them. Look. He got the alligator. The next night... The next night, while everybody else in the house was fast asleep, an official delegation came to see Nathan. The visitors presented him with a special certificate of exemption and with the contents of storage unit 329Z18 from the dental department, 15th League of Enchanted Commerce, every single one of his lost teeth. <gasps> Thanks, said Nathan. I'll keep them forever. They gave him all his teeth. And he did. Look, he kept them forever. The boy who won. Look at that. His little frame poster sign and all his teeth. And there's the Tooth Fairy on vacation. <laughs> I love that book. Did you guys like that book? Are you ready to see what's inside of our unicorn? All right, it's pretty cool. So we left out, we had a similar experience we left out our tooth for the tooth fairy with a note asking if we could keep it and she let us keep our tooth i don't know if you can see it. let me put it down here oh my camera won't zoom in on that let's see hold on oh, there it is she put our tooth in this tiny little glass jar and she let us keep oh i don't want to break that jar and she let us keep our tooth how cool is that? So if you ask very nicely, I think you don't have to get into a war with the Tooth Fairy. She'll actually let you keep the tooth. But you gotta try and you gotta write a really, really nice letter. All right, guys, I hope you like the Tooth Fairy Wars. I really enjoyed that book, that was fun. All right, come back and read soon. Bye, guys.